Hey guys, John Loxley here. So today we're doing a blind playthrough of the Talos Principle. Uh, so if this is if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If this is not your first time to my channel, welcome back. Uh, so the Talos Principle is developed by Crow Team and published by Devolver Digital. Crow Team is responsible for Serious Sam, which I thought was kind of interesting. So they went from a third-person shooter to making a well-received, apparently, puzzle game. I'm not entirely sure. I know a little bit about the Talos Principle. It's something along the lines of a first-person puzzle game that uh, may have consequences to your actions. I'm not entirely sure what that means. It, For some reason, I, uh, I think I remember reading it's similar to the Stanley Principle, but I haven't played that one either, so I'm not... Uh, super sure about that uh, and Devolver Digital of course is reasonably well known for their crazy E3 presentations and uh, interesting and unique games that they've published such as like Hotline Miami I believe they're responsible for Katana Zero as well which um, and maybe I don't Maybe Furry or Fury, I'm not I'm not sure, I don't think so, but for some reason that seems like the type of game um, that they might that they might do. Interesting games that look unique, that have a unique and compelling style to them. Um, right on, so we're so today we're gonna do this. Uh, I, I I guess we'll see. <clears throat> Whoa. Now, Redeem Rewards. Uh, this is something that I did look up in my test recording. And uh, there's a game, Sigils of Elohim, uh, which looks to be like a like a Tetris game or, or something similar. And you can redeem by doing, by playing that, it's a free-to-play game. You can unlock rewards here, which includes extra hints, there was other stuff, but hints is the only thing that really processed for me because the other stuff relates to the main game, which I haven't played, so I, I don't know. Um, so let's uh, let's give this a go. Oh, well, there you go. We can play the demo, I, or a short version of the demo. I mean, we're gonna do the main game, obviously. So let's uh, let's do that. Start a new game from the beginning. Yes, please. Also, there is a very religious theme to this game, so that should be interesting. I'm curious. <sighs> Talos, I don't remember what that corresponds to. My mythology is is not uh, up to snuff these days. But we're loading. We are now loading. Initializing firmware. Firmware functional. Loading child program parameters. Version whatever loaded. System check passed. Starting child process. Ready. I have a robotic hand. Okay, so we're in the game. Behold, child, oh. you are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. So Elohim is another name for God, basically. More specifically, I believe it's the Mormon God. Um, I'm not a Mormon myself, but I'm curious about all the different religions and stuff. So as I understand it, the Mormon uh, faith 
believes that if you're a good Mormon, uh, then after death you too become your own god, and you go become your own god of another universe. Which is kind of a tempting prospect, I suppose. And so that's the Elohim. They are the gods. So there you have it. I guess we were on this altar, maybe. And then we have, um... Kind of looks like Greek. Oh, hey, there we go. We're walking. Greek, uh, little tile reliefs. Snakes and bulls and other stuff. So we're supposed to seek the Elohim in his temple. We're gonna take a look around this area. First we have some some columns. My uh, architecture is also not up to snuff, but this place looks fairly old. The plaster on the walls is, is coming off. The statues are missing their heads and arms and stuff. A lot of the columns are worn. Although, to be fair, the area looks fairly maintained. Because the trees are... Like, this shrub is nice and kind of kept in that... Like, it's not overgrown. You know, there's a clearly marked path. You know? And the lake is free of... Can we go in it? Nice. I can't see my feet, or shadow, apparently. That's, you know, whatever. Oh, that just uh, popped into place. That was weird. Alright, so we have some more... ...reliefs on the walls. Looks like actual... ...interesting, right? So you have here, which is more... ...more primitive, and then here you have more... I don't know, modern-ish? Like the, the whole meme about the Jesus painting in the temple that got redone by the crazy old woman and was terrible. That kind of, the original kind of looks like this. Right, like their, their pigments and paints they're using are different shades and stuff. Whereas here, they just have like really, really basic rudimentary stuff. Like maybe, maybe, you know, berries or whatever, whereas here they're actually doing individual dyes and pigments and stuff, like they're more more traveled or or whatnot. And then some kind of a serpent on the bottom here. Alright, so we have a couple buildings. One there, uh, one behind us, which is interesting. Space is jump. Let's see if we can get onto this altar. We can. Okay, so there's even more buildings. That's kind of neat. Uh, in the distance, though, it kind of, you know, the resolution goes a little bit not so great. That could be a maze or a, well, I'm going to assume a maze and not a graveyard. Let's go then. Interesting, right? So this purple field, I assumed was like a barrier, but I'm not sure what the purpose is here. We have some kind of purple hex pattern. I'm not quite sure. And then there's, of course, like waves and ripples and stuff in it. And we automatically go through. As soon as I touch it, it pulls us through. Initially, initiating child logic program check. Okay, so we're in a different area now, right? Before this was like plaster and stuff. Here is brick. Still no feet. It appears we have a, a door or a... Oh, is that is that bad? Okay. Uh, we can't go through this. It just... It's a force field. At least it doesn't hurt us. That's the key. Now, another thing I'm a little bit curious about is the... 
uh, whatever you call it, the thumbnail, right? So it has the robot, which is us, presumably, holding a kitten. I don't know what that means. I don't know the meaning of it. Take Jammer. Okay, Jammer appears to be a... Well, I mean, it's a Jammer, I'm sure, but... Subject-object interaction, okay. And I can see the hand holding it. And uh, we can just... Oh, if you... Okay, so right-click or left-click also... Right-click also picks up, so... Oh, jam, I see. Drop or jam. Complex task management, okay. Got it, so this shoots out a little beam with which we can jam this thing. The force field. Good to know. I'm sure this is not gonna get any harder. Chunk program basic calibration successful. Child program. I assume that's us. All right, we have a laser thing and a ball. I assume the ball may be hostile. Oh, yep, that seems bad. That made me a little bit scared. Let's, uh, but let's see what happens. Okay, it. Uh, okay, correcting for errors. Done. Reloading child program. Done. Good to know. It's a uh, explosive. Oh, and we have a sprint. We cannot sprint backwards, though. So if we get kind of near it, it, you know, gets a... Uh, like, can I just run by? I know there's a jammer right here. Which we may, we may have to pick up anyway, but I, I want to test. You know what? Let's pick it up. Okay, jammer. This... Hmm. I... Oh, you can jam this thing. Okay. Spatial awareness. Okay, and that's a Gatling gun. I don't think I can disable this thing. But we do have another jammer. So you actually have to point it at the thing you want to jam. Predictive capacity, okay. Yeah, I assume that would also kill us, because that looks like some uh, some pretty serious hardware. And I doubt very much that you could just run past any of this stuff, but who knows? Okay, a ladder, which we can go up and... Huh. Why is that there? Okay. Oh, well, okay. So, we just... I get it. The purple things are our checkpoints. Good to know. I don't think I... Can I just run past it? No. Nope, it's too fast. I'm gonna try again, though. Okay. No, it will... As soon as you're within its radius, it will follow you. So that's, that's important. Okay, you know what, that's uh, what about you? Uh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. You have to use the jammers. Okay, but can I step on this thing? I don't... I, I mean, it doesn't look like it. I can... Oh, that doesn't even count. The stool, I mean. Can I step on the jammer? Mm, no, not really. Alright. 
So the ladder, I'm not quite sure the purpose of it, to be honest. I felt like there maybe was, but I think it just pushes us over the top, right? Automatically? Yeah, okay. I was really hoping for... Um, I don't know, I feel like we're going to need that other jammer or something. I don't know. What is this? I don't know where I am, but there's something beautiful about this place. I will explore and see what I can discover. Version 17.1. whatever. Uh, I noticed it was like version 99. whatever. So this is probably from a few uh, previous, I was going to say future, but previous version of us. And maybe this is the stuff that we can uh, paste as um, playing the sigils of Elohim. Don't know. Nice that it doesn't actually make me have to like snap it with my phone or anything. That would be, you know, kind of crappy. You know what? Let me read that one more time. Say that again. I don't know where I am, but there's something beautiful about this place. I'll explore and see what I can discover. All across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. So there was some text in the upper right corner, something about removing the logic check and removing or logic check. Okay, removing restrictions or something like that. So our purpose is to seek the sigils and attain eternal life. Which maybe just means like a version upgrade. You know, if we just keep getting run through these tests over and over and over again, then uh, I guess that's a form of eternal life, but maybe not. Also, what did it say? In each area, he's hidden a sigil? Okay, is it gonna, is it gonna tell me what the sigils look like at least? Okay, we have another QR code right next to the door. So, I guess we'll take a look at it. I find myself in a world of impossible architecture and, and, and inexplicable machines. I cannot fathom how it works, and I am terrified to put one foot in front of the other lest I fall through the floor. One with faith, version 10.1. whatever. So, a previous version, even before this other one. Did it say anything about faith at V17? Is this also an at? No. So they're calling themselves different things. Okay, that's uh... There's a little loading or saving or something, I don't know, down in the lower right. All right, so what do we have here? We have a bunch of doors, some gates. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. I don't know what this is. These are the Tetris, Tetris blocks from the Sigils of Elohim, though. A line and a L shape. Use. I, uh... Okay, so to unlock this, I need... Maybe this is what they have. Right? A line and an L shape is in here. But I need... Those pieces. Lock requires more sigils. Good to know. Okay. This way has the sigils that I need. This way is locked. Or it's just blocked off. It's not even a lock. And then over here you have another 
like the backwards L. Which is through there. What's with all these, you know, the locked doors and such, or blocked, blocked ways? I don't know. The signs help, though, a little bit. And then here we have a, a, a T piece, I guess. So now, in my upper left corner of the screen, since I clicked on this, I believe, it shows a door, which might be the exit, but maybe not. And then, uh, man, this is beautiful. The lily pads and all that stuff. Let's go for the one... Also, I don't think color matters per se. It might, though. Because this is a green line and a gold L. And this says it requires two... Well, all three green pieces. Let's go for the gold T first. I don't know if gold means it's harder. Peephole. Peephole and uh, gold T. Right, okay, so a hole that I can't get through. See, this is interesting, right? Like, what is... This doesn't appear to actually be doing anything. Wait, what was that? I thought it said equip. But it was probably drop. And I can't stand on there, apparently. Can I go through here? No. So it's like the... It's kind of like the portal thing. And there's the sigil. So I'm going to have to use this for something over here. I mean, I can't take it, right? Can I put it up against the... Okay, it pushes me back as soon as I uh, drop it right next to the thing. Nope. Oh, you. As soon as I get anywhere near it, it, it doesn't like me. It does not like me. Okay, here is this thing. And I'd wager as soon as I take it. Yes. Well, that's crap. Can I take it from the other side? No. It moves you forward and then... Okay, but I... I do know that I need both of these things to jam presumably both of those. Okay, what if I... can't jump... I can't jam through the metal bars. I don't understand this. Okay. Yeah, this is annoying, because um, clearly around that side.
I, I don't know. I don't know. Can I just pull this thing back towards me? Come on, you. Come on. And it doesn't go far enough forward to do anything. Okay. There we go. He pull. The guardians of this land may harm you, but do not resent them, for they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. Okay. I mean, I'm not really into the whole faith thing. The fact that you're talking to me is, well, it's not necessarily proof, but how do I get this thing onto the other side? Can I jam that from here? I mean, I don't know what the range on these things are. Oh. Okay. Oh, see, I thought you couldn't jam it if it was already being jammed. That's good to know. That is great to know, in fact. Alright, and it seems like the jammers have a pretty good range on them. Which is really handy. Uh, okay, yep. Okay. We've been jammed! Raspberry! Lone Star! Notice how one side is not gold. It's like it's gold painted. That's different. You will not need this sigil to open the gate to my temple, but it may serve you in times to come. Yeah, it looks like maybe I get an extra jammer if I get all of those. I mean, it's probably not a permanent upgrade. I mean, I would wager it's not permanent. Because it looks like we're gonna... They'll be consumed. You know? Okay, let's go through here. Ooh, this one seems long. Only the two of us. For a green backwards L. Gold must be like... Bonus stuff, I guess? Okay, there it is. Let's check this place out. Mm, okay. Seems pretty straightforward so far, which is weird, but okay. What happens if I get extra stuff? Right? I mean, that's the question. Okay, so... My thought would be that you jam... Oh! You can't jam through... For all intents and purposes, this is basically a wall. I think I get it, right? I think I get it. You jam this. So you can pick this up, and then same thing, you jam that, and jam that. We. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. The sigils of our name. Interesting, it does not reset when I go through. Aha! It's been X'd out. It's like, hey, you've done this already. That is good to know. That is really handy. Now, 
what does happen when I collect all these? Is it like extra? That's the question. I do want to find out though. It'll probably still collect it. I don't think that it won't. Striding the beaten path. So, no way to jam this thing. I guess you probably have to dip into the side areas. Oh, you... Just don't get within... You know, don't get too close to it. Oh, there's a jammer over there, though. That's... Yeah, we'll probably need both. And see, this way I can listen for the the sounds, right? You know, just wait for it to go by. Whoa. Okay. Um, well, there's one there, and then there's maybe... Oh, I see. Got it. It can't go through. Can I... Nope, I still need to jam this thing. Smart. Right on. Well done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. Hmm. Thanks, I guess. Let's try this, because this is the other thing. I want to know what happens. Outnumbered. Will it... I assume it'll just be extra. Alright, so. There it is. We have the gun. We have the... Explodey ball. This is very pretty. You know, the game itself is very pretty. I still don't understand why the, the ladder was back there, but, you know, it's fine. All right. The gun is going forward, so presumably you jam this and then it goes through. And then you kind of seal the... Like that. And then presumably jam that as well. And maybe that's it. They will definitely get harder. Ah, A. What is A? Well done. But you possess this sigil in abundance already. It talked about they form his name. Maybe the A is the name? I don't know. Why would you not get all the sigils? A switch out of reach. Okay. A switch. Oh, there's something up there. Now, if this is anything like Portal, one of Portal's biggest strengths was that it had uh, you know 80% of the game was tutorials but it was disguised as puzzles so you didn't know I'm hoping this game is similar right where it kind of each thing tests something new okay there's the sigil if I go here, I get, you know, perforated. We have a jammer. I, I would hope that they're not so callous that they just put traps or something. You know what I mean? Like, they're not trying to be sneaky, I would hope. 
that would kind of defeat the purpose. All right, so we're jamming that. Go this way, there's the ball. I don't understand why the ball is there. Looks like there's another path. So, presumably that shut off that thing. Yes, it did. All right, that makes sense. Now we use this to shut off that thing. Also, stepping in front of the jamming beam does not disable the jammer. That's, that's another important thing. Okay. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. So, question. Was it just picking up that one that lowered these, or was the fact that I got it for this little area, you know what I mean? Like, it didn't lower all of them. They're all still there. I don't know. Okay, so it'll give us a line and a gold L. Boom. Okay, now, this, I believe, is what the Sigils of Elohim game was like. And also, it's, it's teaching us. It's like, hey, you have to put this here. Okay. Well, it doesn't specifically state, actually, right? Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, but the sigils of Elohim, it gets really freaking complicated, it looks like. My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It is shaped by a great designer with signs important to guide my steps. I am one of his children and challenges... Challenges are set before me to test my faith. One with faith, version 10 whatever. So that's one with faith. Whatever the end goal of this grand challenge is, it's far out of reach. Knowing that, how are we supposed to resist distraction? This is at. So far, we've only seen version 17 and version 10. What happened to the other, you know, 82, however many versions, you know? Are they all dead? Well, presumably they're all dead. Why would you keep going? Use. It's an ASCII eye. Loading library session. Mounting local disks. 14, 47 million distributed resources found. Network inaccessible. Milton Library Assistant. MLA is unresponsive. Unresponsive. Uh, let's see. Library archive session ready. What do I choose? I guess I'll try high. Or what's this? Unknown command. Type help for a list of available commands. Uh, basic terminal display commands are... Oh, notice it got rid of the other ones. Like, DIR is not one of them. List, display list available resources, open file name, contents of a file. Help display this text, run MLA, load Milton Library Assistant advanced interface. Uh, let's try list. Uh, welcome Athena 6 or figure it out. Let's try welcome. 
from the <coughs> Nadia Sarabi Srub Hyatt Institute for Applied N percent. So, uh, Institute for Applied N percent is that like corrupted text? To Alexandra Drennan at two ampersand slash ed noematics. Subject, welcome to the team. Oh. Hang on, more wine. Oh. Man. Wow. So I had some whiskey before this. The wine that I'm drinking right now is harder to drink. Oof. I don't remember how much it was, but it must have been cheap. Woo. All right. Hi again. I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you're nervous, but the truth is, is that was so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young and you've already accomplished so much. If, if the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that, nominally speaking, I'm head researcher here, but this is your project and everyone will, will respect that. And yes, I know, you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure. G. G's grin? I don't know. Let's do this, Nada. Okay, and these are dates. 00701, so July 1st, presumably, of the year zero. Uh, let's try Athena6.txt. My, my thought it with the welcome is that, like, maybe this is kind of the near situation, you know, from the game near whichever one we got in the US, Replicant or Gestalt, Gestalt, one of the two. Uh, chapter 6, Athena in the Garden of the Hesperides. Did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further, further into the strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, said the nymphs in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes and not a few villains have come to claim it, but all faltered in the final step. For you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom is its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles, F flowed such and such, gazing upon the stars and wept. Honestly, I've thought about immortality and I would not want it. That would be one of the biggest curses ever, I think. Uh, let's try to figure it out. From Lee, maybe. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You got to figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there. Put it together. Try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world and searching for the truth could be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway... Just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young. You've got loads of time to figure it all out. Love, Dad. Ugh, I'm all sniffly. I'm gonna sound like Dark Side Phil. He's one of my spirit animals, though, to be fair. Like, it's, it's weird to say, but I actually have a lot of respect for him, even though... Like, he's a survivor. Like, he walks through, like, 
cataclysms that would destroy other people and he walks through with like bare feet he's like ah like it just rolls off him like water off a duck I don't understand all right hello guest how can I help you today your query let's try the ADSFA I'm sorry, but what you just wrote was nonsense. I respond best to subject, verb, object, syntax. Your query? Do you understand what I'm saying? Understand is a strong way to put it, but yes. Uh, I'm not going to say this because this is insulting. Are you able to take offense, you pointless contraption? What was the first word of the last sentence you wrote? I don't... That's... Whatever. Describe your functions. Because here's the thing, right? Like, we're a robot. And this thing is a computer. Or a... Desktop, sort of. We both potentially have the same software. And... Let's be blunt, also... Humans are organic robots, right? So, you know, can you prove you have free will? Or is your consciousness just a series of uh, responses to stimuli that are conditioned from genetics and, you know, behavior? And other stimuli. You know what I mean? It's like... It's like what determines sentience. It's very complicated. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's read this in a second. Man. Hmm. Maybe you'll make some decaf coffee after this. At least that way it kind of simulates like awakeness. Uh, okay, the Milton Library System is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archive. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with library resources via an intuitive human language interface. It also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. Um library archive how old are the library archives i have i've been trying to watch the hands i can't tell if they're actually typing the sentences this is interesting library resource publishing dates range from 1 july 1995 which is probably the welcome thing that i was talking about to 27th june 203 F which could be hexadecimal you know they could have gone from a standard base 10 system to a base 16 which is far into the future uh, what are these terminals the hands are definitely hitting enter terminals provide access to the library resource archive How long has this system been running? I don't think so. I don't think they're actually... They look like they are, but I don't believe that they are. The system has been active for 9,999E years. Um, what is the current status of the library archive? There are 47 million resources in archive, taking up 5.4 whatever petabytes of disk di <laughs> disk space. That is approximately the size of 30 billion photos. That's not specific because what are the size of the photos and the resolution? Uh, Seven million minutes of HD video, also same thing. The entire internet in 2003. That's not very helpful, actually.
Now, if you set a certain number of minutes of... I don't know, whatever. Whatever, it's, it's to give you a size of scale. However, the majority of library resources are corrupted or, corrupted or invalid. 10.6954751 gigabytes of uncorrupted resources are indexed. So out of the five and a half petabytes, a petabyte is, is that a hundred thousand times a gigabyte? Because a terabyte is a thousand gigs, right? And then a petabyte is a thousand terabytes. So a petabyte is a hundred thousand gigs, I think. So out of the 500,000 gigabytes, maybe petabyte is more. That's possible. Only 10 gigs. Which is actually more than this game, I believe. I believe this game is like 5 gigs. Uh, what caused the corruption? Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to a greater than average data invalidation. Okay. What was the first word of the last sentence you wrote? Will it tell us progressive? I'm sorry, I'm only able to process and respond to basic subject verb object syntax. Interesting. I feel like this is important, but I don't understand why. Should I do this because it's another... Yeah, let's do it. I'm sorry. You cannot insult me. Shouldn't it be, I cannot be insulted? Well, fair enough. We get the library. Can you respond to queries on the outside world? But outside world is what? My knowledge is limited to... Oh, the outside world as outside of the computer or the library. Got it. My knowledge is limited to the data in the library archive. You can ask about other topics, my but my responses may be limited. Who is Elohim? Elohim is the noun for God or gods in modern and ancient Hebrew. What am I? You are logged in with a guest account. Where am I? You are currently in a support session with the MLA human Language interface module, your li library archive session may be resumed at any time. Well, in that case, we will exit. Terminating support session, done. Resuming library archive session, done. List. Well, that's it. That's all of it. New texts added to journal. Press tab to access. Oh. I see. These are dates, right? 1912 CE. What is CE? And then 2032, which is... So is this like 20, 2032 years past zero? And zero would be 1995, potentially? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we have the weird terminal. At least it's like safety rated and stuff. Like that's really a, like that's an old school computer. How is it even still functioning? Like over 10,000 years, that's kind of uh, crazy. Okay, we're gonna run through the checkpoint. We're probably gonna stop, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. There's some kind of glowing light. We'll check that out first. 
Oh, I see. So this is probably the central hub then. Or not. I don't know. Because we've gotten all those. Okay. Golden L, which... Right, it told us there was a golden L and a line block. I doubt there's going to be, like, hidden treasure, but there might be QR codes, which is kind of weird. you think it would be, I don't know, non-QR codes, though. Okay, so there's the line. Should we attempt to get it before we stop? Because we're, what, what is this? Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. Like a teleporter. Okay, let's get these first. Poking a sleeping lion, my oh child, yeah. You do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Yeah, I'd rather get him out of the way, though. I'm hoping if they tell us, like if it gives us some menu or something with the, uh... Oh. Yeah, that. Hmm. I need another jammer. That's bad. That's real bad. Okay, right. Okay, so we can't, I mean, we could jam that, but what I need to do, I think first is jam that. Because otherwise, by getting too close to it, we'll explode. Okay, next, jam that thing. <coughs> and then see where it goes. Okay, it's probably going to stay over there, maybe. Okay, right on. Alright. Another... Another thing. Cool. Yeah, I'm hoping that it'll give us, like, some kind of a... Teleport min menu, and it'll tell us, like, Oh, you've gotten all the sigils from this area. Trio Bombasticus, which is those. Kind of reminds me of, um... <sighs> what is it? Some kind of thing with, uh... Like where dogs call flies uh, spicy... Or fly raisins or sky raisins or something. But bees are spicy sky raisins. I thought it was cute. You know? Alright. One step. You are most diligent. Oh, thanks. Perhaps this trait will serve you well in times to come. I suspect it might. It is very possible there are multiple endings to this where unlocking all the stuff gives you a best ending. Which is also gonna drive me freaking insane, probably. Look at that binary. I was just thinking about binary instead of QR codes. Well, I guess we step into the light. I like this. It's like a old ruins and stuff and then technology that's it's a really great contrast achievement unlocked halls of his temple okay you walk now upon the stones of my temple whence many gates lead and know that i have other temples for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. Just like Gladys, am I right? So we have some kind of terminals over here. 
Oh. They do unlock other stuff. What is this? Some kind of cube? Is it a companion cube? It might be. And this is... It doesn't appear to be a jammer, though. I don't know what it is. Also, even though this is cleaner and has, like... Well, it's cleaner. The statues are still ruined. Although maybe they, maybe they were deliberately designed without hands or faces. Right? Okay, so that takes those. What does this take? Aha! Okay, so we have two. Oh. Can I go through this? Yes, I can. What's the star? Four. Those all go for the thingamabob and a star. Okay, so four things. I thought it was corresponding to the number of things, but... No, because this has three and a star. This has four and a star, and then six. Red. Ooh, red is... I don't know what red is. A star. And then, uh... Interesting. Can I do something with that? Maybe that's what the cube is for it. Or the thing it blows that up. Okay, so A... I guess I'm at A. So this is the A, uh... I see. Okay, A... Hub, or A Temple. Oh, I didn't even notice the doors over here. And then there's something up there, maybe. Seven. I know, I need to stop. Okay. Got it. Five... One. Okay. What's the star? Because the star is still there. Should that be X'd out? Or is star the... Oh, maybe that's the difficulty. That's a possibility, too. Also, it does kind of look like there's a second floor up there, but maybe not. Okay, I want to look at this one more time. Oh, okay, right on it. Those are an X'd out. Cool. Very cool. Okay. Can I just, uh, can I save? I guess, it, wait, 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 wait. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is this one then? Right? Because we have seven. One, three, five, seven. Six, four, and two. So that's like... I mean, that one's blocked off. Oh, dude! I didn't even... Whoa! So there's... Wait. And there's a gate with a star. What is this? There are mysteries in my garden. Hidden roads and secret gates. Oh, man. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. I don't know what that means. Well, crap. Okay, let's, uh, we'll just save if we go through here. I don't even know what that is. Alan. Oh, these are other... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. You know what? You can... Uh... Oh, no. You're not going to come towards me. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll stop. We'll stop. We'll stop right here. Achievements. Oh, look. There's like presumably two of them that I've got. Stop. Stop the currently running game. You lose your progress since the last checkpoint less than a minute ago. That's fine. Stopping game. 
All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. This game is actually pretty neat. I'm definitely going to play more of this. Um, thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, so uh, every episode, I like to do a unique positive moment, which uh, the whole point of it is to challenge me and you guys to think in a more positive way. There's so much that's very negative in the world. Uh, and so our brain begins to interpret it's conditioned to be negative, essentially. And so uh, you're supposed to actually do three unique positive moments per day, but I'm trying to do one, right? Because that's, it's just a little bit easier, a little bit easier, given that, you know, it's we're talking through YouTube or, or whatever. Um, so what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, even though it's kind of terrible, it's this wine uh, that I'm drinking um, because it's something I haven't had before. And, you know, I tried a new thing, even though it didn't really work out. And that's that's kind of the, the soul of the unique positive moment. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I won the lottery today. It's It's something, it can be something as simple as just trying a new food or, or, uh, you know, I, uh, I finally did this thing that I was putting off, you know, just, uh, just something simple, something positive, something that you enjoy, you know, you're sitting there, you look up at the sky and you're like, man, it's a really beautiful day today, you know, just something like that. So that's my unique positive moment for today. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better, hopefully better, of course. Uh, and I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.